Hello, welcome to Reset Coder. So, for Android, you can develop either in Java or in Kotlin. For iOS, you can develop either in Swift or in Objective-C. And for the most part, you can develop for the web using the good old trusted web technologies like HTML or CSS and then pick a framework which you like. For example, Angular, Vue or React or anything else. You can even write your applications with pure JavaScript and HTML without any kind of framework. And as you know, there are many frameworks out there which try to combine all of the development steps that are needed for iOS and Android. So you can write your code only once and then it spits out native code for Android and native code for iOS from one code base. Or you have something like Ionic, which is a hybrid app which runs in a web view but the user doesn't see that, but basically it's not native, so the performance penalty is, uh, is there, as opposed to, for example, Xamarin, which compiles down to native code. So, while in the past you could write only one code for Android and iOS, you still had to write different kind of code for your web apps. But now it can actually change because there is a new thing on the horizon and that is Hummingbird for Flutter. All right, so let's keep it real. Nobody likes to write code twice or three times to produce basically the same but only a bit different app because it has to run on a different platform. And as I already said before, you could already have some technologies which would compile one code into native for iOS and Android, but you could still not have something which would take all of the three main platforms, which are Android, iOS, and also most dominantly the web. So yeah, you could have something like Ionic, which is not really all that good, although the performance penalties are diminishing now because Phonar is getting much, much more powerful. But even then, it's not always the best idea to have something which runs in a web view. So for that reason, most of the people still opted in for building native apps or at least separating the code for native, kind of native apps like Android iOS and separating the code for web. Then came Dart and Flutter. And originally Flutter could build apps only for devices which run on Android or iOS. But since it's in Dart and there is also Angular Dart, you could do something like code separation where you would separate your business logic into one separate library, let's say, and then have different libraries for the UI stuff regarding Flutter and a separate UI library regarding Angular. So you could have that. And then your Flutter app and your Angular app could take code from your completely cross-platform business logic kind of library and you would only write UI twice and also some really specific kind of uh, parts of your code which just have to be implemented separately on each of the platforms, so native or web. However, you would still need to maintain a bit more code than is necessary because after all, your Flutter app has a nice responsive UI which looks stunning and then you have to write something in HTML and CSS. So that is not really what you want to do because, well, what if you could take the Flutter app and push it all the way to the web and have it nicely displayed even there, right? That is something that would be a dream come true for many developers because that would mean that you could write only one single code base and then with some only really minor differences, minor changes, use it in the web. And well, Google, which is developing Flutter, definitely sees this need because it has developers itself. So the developers know that, hey, I just want to write one code and use it across all the different platforms that there currently are. And so Google decided to do something special. Google is now developing the so-called project Hummingbird, which is some kind of a layer on top of Flutter. And with Hummingbird, you can take your Flutter apps and they will spit out HTML, CSS and JavaScript. So you will be able to write your code, your nice, really nice UI code in Flutter, which is 
really like descriptive. You don't have to have two languages or like HTML or actually three languages because you have HTML, you have CSS and you have JavaScript. With Flutter, you are writing everything in Dart. So you can make classes out of widgets. You can do all of the kind of things that you would expect in a programming, like a real programming language with Dart. And the best part is that you can use Dart for UI layouts and for all kinds of those things. So you don't need to have the knowledge of three separate languages and you can just write everything in one single language. Now, why is Flutter Hummingbird going to use HTML and CSS and not something else? Because after all, Flutter on your mobile devices is operating in a way that it draws every single pixel on the screen. So why could we not draw something every single pixel on the screen even when we are inside the browser, right? Because it doesn't really make sense to use HTML and CSS. Well, the reason why it's done like this, that it spits out HTML and CSS and does a little bit of things on CSS canvas, if I'm not mistaken, the reason for that is that the web technologies are so old and so omnipresent that uh, it's quite a bit of a problem to get rid of them because you have Chrome, you have Opera, you have Firefox, you have everything there is. And uh, those browsers and even Safari, right? Don't forget about Safari because that has a large user base, especially on the, or only on the Mac side of things and iOS. So those browsers, they are a bit of a problem because those browsers are already expecting things to be in HTML, CSS and JavaScript. And while Google could do something inside their Chrome browser to support Dart directly and do all kinds of trickery, right? And probably it will happen in some time in the future, if I, I think, because yeah, it's Google, right? They want to push their products and Dart is their product and also Flutter is their product. So they definitely want to do that, but not now because even though they could do that technically, it's not really feasible because they don't have the monopoly, they don't have 100% of the users using Chrome, and even, even if the users were using all Chrome, it would still be kind of a problem because then you would have some problems with compatibility because not everybody would be using the most up-to-date version of Chrome, right? So it would be a mess for that reason they are using the trusted old web technologies, even though you have WebGL, which could be used also, but that would bloat the size of the app, which would be like distributed because, uh, you know, browsers ship with all of the things which are needed to display HTML and CSS. And for WebGL, you apparently need to ship it out with your app bundled. So the bundle of the app would be a bit or actually a lot larger because currently the browsers don't themselves have something which can run WebGL. And obviously I am not really like precise because, you know, I'm not a WebGL developer by any means. I am an app developer. So uh, yeah, I don't know all the details, but it kind of makes sense, right? If the Flutter team writes it like that, it kind of makes sense why they are still using HTML and CSS, even though they have some bit of a problem with it, but hey, you're gonna do what you're gonna do. So what does Hummingbird mean for the web development community or actually for the whole development community? Because if you can write one code base and use it on Android, iOS, and also on the web, like it's a win-win situation for everybody, except for the other frameworks, right? Because if it all works out, and I think that it will, because after all, it's Google and they kind of most of the time, most of the time, not all the time, but most of the time, they know what they are doing. And especially when it comes to development, right? So I think that we will see some kind of a rebellion from the good old web developers who don't want to go away from their Angular, from their Vue and from their React and for from any kind of library, right? So I think that we will see some haters of the Hummingbird, but after all, it's not about the framework. It's about if it smooths out your workflow. And I think that Hummingbird will definitely do that together with Flower. All right, so if you like this video, give it a like and definitely also share it. And also, if you don't want to miss more videos like this, subscribe to this channel and also hit the bell button so that you are not gonna miss any of my new videos. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. And I will see you in the next video.